Maxillary Sinusitis by Corey Wilkinson and Derek Hoffman. All right, the definition and clinical findings. We have maxillary sinusitis is an inflammatory response of the mucosal sinus lining caused from a variety of different environmental factors, including viral, fungal, or bacterial infections, allergies, systemic diseases, and other medical conditions. Clinical symptoms the patient may describe include pain and pressure of the facial region, reduced smelling ability, fatigue, and dental pain. Clinical signs may include yellow to yellow-greenish nasal discharge and feverish conditions. Um, the prevalence of sinusitis is 37 million people yearly in the United States. That's roughly one out of every seven people. Um, prevalence between men and women are equal and can occur at any age. Bacterial infection is the most common cause of sinusitis with strep pneumoniae and uh, H. influenzae being the biggest culprits. All right, the radiographic findings, uh, we use the lesions acronym. Uh, L stands for a localized unilateral or bilateral lesion located in the anterior maxillary sinus. E stands for the edge is well defined. S is the shape, follows the border of the maxillary sinus and can range from a wavy form to a round oval lesion. Mm. I is the internal structure. It is a radiopaque band. O, other structures that can be affected only include the maxillary teeth in which they can become absorbed depending on the duration and severity of the infection. N stands for the maxillary sinusitis can be unilateral or bilateral, so the number of lesions can be single or multiple. S is the width. Mesial distally can range from the width of a single tooth to the width of the entire floor of the maxillary sinus. The height can vary from just a few millimeters to the entire height of the maxillary sinus. And there's some uh, radiographs from your own website. Thank you, Dr. Gonzalez. Uh, and here's the differential interpretations. Um, this is in, in order of our likelihood. Um, the first one is mucositis. Mucositis is a localized inflammation of the mucus and can affect the mucosal lining of the maxillary sinus, giving an appearance similar to sinusitis. Number two is cystic fibrosis. Most patients with uh, cystic fibrosis present to an, uh, that guy for sinonasal <laughs> disease that can mimic sinusitis. That is an ear, nose, and throat doctor. And number three, sinus tumor. A sinus tumor can cause nasal congestion that radiographically can have the appearance of sinusitis. All right, treatment. One treatment for severe sinusitis is to place the patient on amoxicillin for 10 to 14 days. Uh, reasons for placing a patient on an antibiotic is because sinusitis can be caused by a bacterial infection that hasn't resolved over two weeks. For mild sinusitis, a treatment option is to recommend the patient to use a nasal wash, such as the neti pot, that can be purchased at any local drugstore. The reason to use a nasal wash is to help rinse away the infection and decongest the patient. So more treatment is the best treatment option from a dentist is to refer the patient to a primary care physician or a specialist, such as the ear, nose, and throat doctor. One reason for referral is because um, that special, uh, specialist um, specializes in diagnosis and treatment of disorders of the head and neck. Another reason um, is because the surgical procedures um, is necessary. He or she will be able to perform the surgery. The referral should be two weeks with no decline in sign or symptoms of sinusitis. All right, and to wrap it up, the key points are the clinical findings of maxillary sinusitis are a yellow to yellow greenish nasal discharge and pain or pressure under the eyes and temple. A radiographic finding is unilateral or bilateral well-defined radiopaque band that follows the borders of the maxillary sinus. Another radiographic finding of sinusitis by using a cone beam CT can show an opacity that completely fills one or both the maxillary sinuses. If clinically and radiographically we as dentists have diagnosed a patient <laughs> with maxillary sinusitis. The treatment would provide <laughs> would be to refer <laughs> refer the patient to an otolaryngologist. <laughs> and here's our references. Here's some more references.